ਕੋਈ ਮਸੂ ਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫਾਰ ਅਲਾਉਂਗ ਮੀ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਆਨ ਦਾ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਅਨਫੇਅਰ ਮੀਨਸ ਬਿਲ 2024 ਸਰ ਆਈ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਇਨ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਬਿਲ ਆਈ ਕੰਗ੍ਰੈਚੁਲੇਟ ਆਨਰੇਬਲ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਜਿਤਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਫਾਰ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਬਿਲ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਇਟ tells us that organs has been taken on a pro- of a problem a grave problem that has of late assumed menacing promotion uh, proportions sir this uh, is a timely step taken right direction our prime minister said that he said that this is second important the piece of legislation after women reservation act the law by which uh, the law which provides reservation for women but i take it it's my personal view it is much more important than that because that delays the implementation we don't know after a decade or so the benefit may be may reach the target group but here it is instant and we 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 know that the results of this bill will be available only only uh, immediately after the rules are framed and i expect that rules will be framed immediately after the bill is passed sir uh, the statement of objects and reasons spells out as uh, the objects of the bill it is the object it is the the object is to enhance transparency in examinations for recruitment and also that is very important also admission to higher education because the problem would not only plague the recruitment but also the admission to higher education institutions so the bill is well drafted the definition clause i have gone through i mean it is well drafted and the uh, the definition of unfair means is inclusive and the bill is expected to have the results that are intended but sir we should not stop say on with this bill because i believe that it the recruiter process as well as the admissions in particular the recruiter process calls for a holistic approach sir we can if we have transparency in the exam that should is not the end game there should be we should make to take steps to provide a level play field across the country the bill encourages the states to have a similar legislation in the states but the effort should be to have a level play field and what can be done to achieve that level play field for someone who does not have the level play field transparency in examination in recruitment process is not it does not mean anything because he has to cut swords with he has to compete with someone who has an advantageous position who belongs to a different strata of the society so i don't know what steps would be taken but i i expect honorable minister to just have his attention towards this level play uh, providing level play field as well then we should try to integrate ict tools because ict tools without this personal uh, intervention ict tools are more objective and more fair and uh, raising less suspicion in exam in this process if we i don't know to what extent but i think we should uh, try to have the ict tools integrated with the recruiter process and then sir the problem that was highlighted by by one of the one of uh, honorable members is that the cancellation of examination should not push the candidates who have appeared in the examination to uncertainty instead there should be a statutorily provided period for having that examination conducted once more maybe two months eight weeks or maybe 12 weeks depends on how you can organize the logistics but it should be statutorily fixed we should not leave it to the individual authority or individual commission or individual body to fix the examinations it should be statutorily fixed so that we have the examination and there is an opportunity because we know it the examination delay and cancellation of examinations results in delays and it create, uh, creates bitterness and and bitterness amongst the amongst the youth unemployed youth so it should be uh, it should be in a time frame 
so that they have not they have the it's not a uh, wait that is endless so they have uh, they have uh, a com they have their opportunity uh, second is that sir after this whole exercise we should statutorily also provide for this wait list because after such an exercise because i have come to know some uh, students met me in uh, jammu they said some candidates met me in jammu they said that this uh, local administration has done away with this waiting list because if somebody has put his labor and he figures there are 108 uh, uh, posts for for example and he is at uh, figures at 109 so if there are it is people shop for the jobs they are hopping from one place to another place so most of the people selected candidates also leave it leaving way for the uh, waiting list yes. so we should have a statutory percentage as well as the period for that wait list to be operational thank you very much thank you honorable member sri ng premin it's not thank you very much sir for uh, giving me the chance to take part in the discussion